up into a uh, a fun topic to start us off. It happened just uh, maybe a couple of hours ago, if that. But Patrick Mahomes signs a massive 10-year contract extension. So that is on top of the two years that he already has left on his rookie deal right now. And it is $450 million, Whoa. sources tell oh, ESPN. That's a lot of money. Oh, Lord, yes. The injury guarantee is $140 million per Adam Schefter. The contract does not contain language that ties its value to a percentage of the salary cap. Uh, it is the, for the Chiefs. Yes, it is the richest deal in sports history. So my first question to you, we talked about this a little bit before we came on. Is there a single other player that you would sign for 12 years in the NFL? Uh, today, right now, currently? Right no. now. Right now, currently, no. And the only other player in the last 10 years, maybe not 10, yeah, 10 years of rookies that I would have is probably Russell Wilson. The, he won his Super Bowl his second year in the league. Patrick won his his third year in the league. If you could have locked Russell up for 12 years after his rookie deal was over, I think it would finish about the same time, you know, 2025. Yeah. So it finished about where his contract extension now is going to finish, but you would have locked him in under the richest number back then and not the richest number today. And that would have saved you a bunch of money and made that deal just super team friendly, but also given him a lot of security and a big mega monster contract. Yeah. Now you, you were bringing up, to me, before we jumped on, uh, interesting things about quarterbacks that are on their rookie deals. You want to dive into that? Yeah, so I, this is not about Mahomes, okay? Th so so I, I kind of hate taking the spotlight off of him because this is the day to celebrate Patrick, all right? This is an elite specimen that we are going to get to watch. Hopefully he can stay healthy and we can watch him for years to come. But I went back and looked, and I was curious. I think... And I, I catch criticism with our friends that we talk about this with because quarterback is the most important position to get right, okay? I believe that's not true anymore. And I don't think it's been true for a long time. You can't get it wrong. You can't have Deshaun Kaiser, all right? You can't be <laughs> bad at quarterback. But you can be serviceable at quarterback on a rookie deal is more valuable than a really good quarterback on a bad on, on a uh, an expensive deal. I think yes. a bad deal, just an exp a, a fair value deal to them. But but a rookie quarterback that's lesser is way worth more. I went back the last ten years of Super Bowls. Okay, the last ten Super Bowls, twenty starting quarterbacks. Nine of the twenty starting quarterbacks, nine of them were on rookie deals. That I is, think that's really important. That's a massive Some number. Some of them are not very good quarterbacks at all, in my opinion. And we could have gone back even further. I just stopped at a decade. Yeah, the last 10 is is much more current with what's going on. It's it's modern NFL. That's right. right. That's right. I mean, this doesn't have Trent Dilfer on it. This doesn't have Brad Johnson on it. Like, we could name off guys that have won Super Bowls that are terrible, and these are just Super Bowl winners. You ain't talking about the other guys that they played against. In those 10 Super Bowls, only two of them were both quarterbacks not on the rookie deal. Both quarterbacks have gotten paid and their extension only twice in 10 years. That was 2015, Peyton Manning, Cam Newton, and that was 2016, Tom Brady, Matt Ryan. And in the Matt Ryan deal, that was Matt Ryan's first year off of his rookie deal. So the rest of that team that was loaded when he got paid was still pretty much intact. And as soon as his money started coming in, talent started falling off because they can't keep paying these guys. Well, the so the Cam Newton one was 2015? 2015. 20, so that was – he was drafted in – 2010 yeah or 20 I, it was 2011 now about oh then maybe he was on his rookie deal still i no, so I, mean, I think he had signed an extension because i didn't see him on his rookie deal when i was looking through it but I i'm could looking be, I could right have, now if he you can was, find it faster than me 
Uh, nope, much. nope, nope. He he got a signing bonus for fifteen and a half million that year. His that roster year bonus was extension. seven and a half. Yeah, I thought that was yeah. the first year of his extension too. Yep, that's what it was. So he he got 2011, 2012, 2013. But that means the rest of that team was built on his rookie deal. Yeah. And then as soon as his rookie deal was over and he got he started getting his money, the talent had to start dropping off elsewhere because they couldn't pay anybody. I think rookie deals are really valuable. I've said this before. I like Dak Prescott a lot, a whole lot. I wouldn't be upset with him being my quarterback. If he wants 35 to $40 million, if he wants my home's money, then I would punt him down the road tomorrow <laughs> and just take my chances with another quarterback because college quarterbacks are so good coming into the year if the team is loaded. You put them to the Jets and they're trash. Why? Because the Jets are trash. Yeah. But if you put them with a capable combat, I mean, we don't think Josh Allen has anything productive to bring to the table. But we think the Bills are freaking loaded. Yes, 100%. So Josh Allen makes the playoffs because they're loaded. If they somehow would have picked up Deshaun Watson instead of Josh Allen, then holy hell, that's a Super Bowl team. You are 100% I just, right. I just think you... You don't have to get the Tom Brady, the Russell Wilson, the Patrick Mahomes. You don't have to get the elitist of the elite, the Peyton Mannings. You don't have to get those guys. You just can't get your Deshaun Kaisers. You just if 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 that Cowboys team was more prepared for a quarterback on a rookie deal, which Tony Romo hurt them because their quarterback room, while their starting quarterback wouldn't get paid a lot, their quarterback room had a lot of money coming on it. Because Tony, even when he retired, it was still owed a lot of money, and that goes to dead cap. Yeah. So they couldn't just load up on talent. Now they have, and he's now getting off that rookie deal, and they're finally at a point where they're doing that. They've missed that window. Let me tell you how important I think rookie money is, okay? Yeah. Two guys played in a Super Bowl together 10 years ago exactly, 2010. Aaron Rodgers was on his second year starting as a quarterback, okay? Has not made it back to a Super Bowl since he's gotten paid. Ben Roethlisberger had made it to his third Super Bowl on his rookie deal. Has not made it back since getting paid. Yeah. At some it's... point in time, we thought Aaron Rodgers was crazy, stupid, elite. And he was. We watched his talent. He did things with the football we've never seen before. Where's his ta- Where's his titles? Hell, where's his playoff runs? I mean, it's okay to There's make it many. to the Super Bowl and lose sometimes. He, he took too much. He took too much of the apple. Yeah. There wasn't enough there for the rest of them. And then you pitch and you complain because you don't have talent. Like, and the one guy that fault. went to nine of these bastards kept taking pay cuts, and they still weren't loading him up with talent. But right, they weren't getting right. star talent. They were getting offensive linemen. They were getting running backs. They were getting a bunch of defensive players. They got volume of talent, not value of talent. Not They went with quantity, not quality. They didn't get the stars of the Patriots. They got a whole lot of three stars. They were they were Mississippi State. If Dan Mullins was an NFL coach, he'd, he'd – It'd be Bill Belichick. He just loads up with nine million three stars and like two five stars, and that's it. And then finds a way to uh, to build. Finds a way to make it work. Yeah, no, I'm I'm with you. That that makes that makes sense. Um, Yeah, I I think overall, I mean, obviously, there's not anybody else that I feel like this would be a good deal for, but this will more than likely end up being a team friendly deal. Uh, if Damian, he's healthy in six years and playing at the rate that he's playing at in six years, there'll be 12 quarterbacks making $45 million a year. Yes, I agree. I and, agree. He'll, and he'll be he'll be paid in the, you know, the top third or maybe bottom of the top third, middle of the middle third of quarterbacks. And yeah. he'll he'll be a value. Right now, he ain't a value. Not, not yet. I'm, I'm, not I'm yet. curious what that team's going to look like, but they've got a lot of young talent on that team right now. So I think they'll lose some defensive players. They're not great defensively anyway, but they got a lot of young talent. Everybody else hadn't gotten paid yet. I think they'll let a lot of those skill guys walk, and they'll just try to replace them. But that's something Andy Reid has been doing forever. Yeah, no, he certainly I has. Mean, he never really paid a lot of skill guys to begin with. 
Uh, Damien jumps in on YouTube. He said the Chiefs are going to regret paying Mahomes that much in the future, just like the Bears are regretting the Khalil Mack trade. I don't I, think they regret the Khalil Mack trade. I think I they think, regret the Trubisky trade is what they regret. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't think they regret Khalil Mack because the defense is still good. Like, if, But you need both sides of the ball to make it we, work. We keep saying that if the Bears had taken Mahomes because he's the best quarterback to come out of that draft, but but he was a project and a risk. If they would have taken Watson, who everyone kind of thought was the best quarterback coming out of that draft, yeah. instead of Mitchell, the Bears would be – they would have played in, in an NFC championship game, I believe. Yes. At least. Uh, ben jumps in on Twitch, so I guess Twitch is working. Uh, he said 10 years is a long time. It, it's definitely a long time, but, but look, the way that the NFL contracts are set up, it ties Patrick Mahomes to the Chiefs for the next 12 years. It does not necessarily tie the Chiefs to Patrick Mahomes for and that we don't, long. We don't know that we don't he know the doesn't detail. have opt-out clause or anything like that. Only $140 million of this is guaranteed, guys. Yeah, that's injury guarantee. So, like, so he, while it's a big his, number... If his talent falls off and they, they send him by the wayside, that I, I think there's ways for them to get out of this money. Well, I mean, our, so our I group chat. This hurts the team at all. Yeah. And not, like I said, if he's getting paid $45 million the last five years, five years of this deal, that's half the deal. I bet he'll be a, a lower than top 10 paid quarter. There'll be 10 other quarterbacks making more than him. Yeah. I, I think you're probably right. You said in the group chat that we're in, uh, you, con- you kind of compared it to Andy Dalton, right? So I brought Same up thing. the Andy Dalton deal. People always talk about the bad deals, and we all saw the Andy Dalton deal, okay? And and everybody in the league that wrote about it said, first they said, oh, that's an insane amount of money. He ain't close to worth that, and I agreed with that statement. And then they looked at the language, and they were like, oh, there's so many ways for them to get out of this deal. It'll never be a bad deal. It's only great for the team because the team has so much flexibility to get out of it. But... Andy Dalton played through that entire deal. He got all that obscene money that he wasn't close to worth because teams get stupid with the quarterback position. It's like they can look analytically at every other position in football, and they can evaluate it so intelligently. And with the quarterback, it's just like they take their normal brain out and they put some, like, moronic gorilla brain in, and they're just like – do whatever we, we we can't not have a quarterback because the worst case scenario you end up with somebody like Jared Goff who's not a whole lot different than Andy Dalton, no, but a lot cheaper. Okay, all right, let's try that out because it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Yeah, no, I, I agree. With you, you might hit Pater. You might strike gold and get a Deshaun Watson. You might strike gold and get a a a, a Mahomes. When it, and here's here's the difference in the deal. Wentz, who gets hurt all the damn time. I wouldn't have paid him. I was on the record of saying that rookie deal is what got them to the Super Bowl. Yes. Not him playing at an MVP level. The, because he hasn't looked like an MVP since he's gotten paid because that team is no longer loaded. Correct. Because he got paid. That team deal for the Cincinnati Bengals with Andy Dalton, they never paid him in a season more than, let's see, the first year of his deal. He got a roster bonus, a signing bonus, and his salary that paid him a little over $18 million. Yeah. And then in the next year, he made $7.2 million. It he made going $10 $13 million, $14 million, million, and then $16 million in his last year. Or last year. We all but, thought but that there's no way he million. was going to get that $16 million, and if you don't pay him the 16 it's really not a bad deal. Guess what? But, but look at what we're talking about here. That is yeah. $16 million for a starting quarterback. And now we're talking about Dak Prescott maybe making forty. That, that ain't happening. That's just not happening. I know, but I that's but that's Dak what he Prescott. wants. If I'm Jerry Jones, I am drawing a line in the sand right now, and I'm saying I am not paying this kid the same amount of money that Patrick Mahomes making. I'm just not doing yeah. it. While I love Dak, and I think Dak is a really good football player, he ain't close to the man Mahomes is when you stripe him up on the field. No, he's You're just right. not close. You are correct. And I love the guy. I love him to death. But if he was willing to take a $35, $32 million deal tomorrow, I think that would be a a fair deal for his value. Not as good 
is if they find somebody the equivalency of Andy Dalton on a rookie deal, though. Yeah, and right now, I mean, they got Andy Dalton for pennies. For well, they'll have him for seven million dollars if they if he starts at all. If if yeah. if, if Dak gets hurt, basically, because he signed his which his is franchise still, tag, still but pennies. I, you know, no, it's nothing. That's right. No, yeah. no, that that's the equivalency of a rookie deal. Rookie, deal, I mean, rookie quarterbacks are making about that. Um, it, it's just the rookie deal matters too much. I mean, the, I talked about how last year I was so upset with the Browns. Week, what was it, three? Going yeah. into week four when I went to the game, I knew if they don't win this game and they don't look marketably better than they looked the first three weeks, they are going to waste an entire season of a quarterback on a rookie deal. Yeah. Yeah, you're Patrick right. Patrick Mahomes made it to the AFC title game his second year. Russell Wilson won the Super Bowl his second year. Baker's second year was supposed to be this coming of age, but instead the team was loaded. The team was ready. Baker was bad. The coaching was bad. Yeah. Flat out, two problems, and we wasted a year of that. You cannot waste these rookie years. They are worth more than anything you've got to your franchise. Agreed. Damian jumps in. He said, question, do y'all think that these teams that are paying these quarterbacks all this uh, crazy amount of money, like Cam and Mahomes, which Cam made nothing, uh, Hmm. but Mahomes is just to prevent them from signing Kaepernick? Uh, Absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. Like This has nothing to do with Colin Kaepernick at all. This is the go rate. How would I mean? Everyone in the world knew the Chiefs couldn't let Patrick walk. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes is the best football player on the planet right now. Okay. Yeah, Ben, ben in jumps in. By the way, that. on yeah. Twitch, he said, uh, "The world is not one big Kaepernick conspiracy." No, it's it's not. It Ben's no, dead on here. Not, it's just not. And Kaepernick is getting paid. Kaepernick has just signed two major TV deals: one with Netflix, one with Disney. That. Kaepernick is doing something else. That's not when you sign your Netflix deal and the Disney deal. He and ain't coming back. And his football. Nike deal that pays him more than ten million a year. Yeah, he's not. But the Nike deal is you can you can do the Nike deal and play football. That's no, agreed. That, those go hand in hand. You can't do the Netflix deal and play football. You can't because the amount of time to make those shows that that is not something that you can do. Kaepernick is not playing football. He has chosen, and it could have yeah. been a league thing. It could have been that, all right, I tried for three, four years. Nobody wanted me. I thought there would be some teams to try to go get him. I don't think they can make the money work. He wants $20 million to play. Supposedly, that number has been floated out. Yeah. And teams aren't going to pay $20 million for somebody they haven't seen for four years. Well, or, or somebody that's a backup. Uh, Damien said Kaepernick still doesn't have a team, though. Uh, yeah, of course not. I mean, he's he's doing all of but, these other but things. But neither did Cam. Cam literally just signed for a million bucks. Yeah. I mean, his his official salary this year is five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, and he's got a bunch of incentives and whatnot that I can know, boost him I up. I know people but, personally right now that live in all the brands that are going to make that this year. Yeah. All right. Like, that's ridiculous. That's insane. So yeah, but that, the incentives and whatnot help that. Out. And somebody else is willing to pay for one. It's a math problem. It's not a. It's not a. We don't want that guy problem. Yeah. It's now a math problem. Like okay, and, and here's the thing: Cap's number should be twenty because Netflix is going to throw him eighty, and and now it's over. Yeah. Now I can't. Why would I turn down all of this money to come back and play in a sport come back where I would and be play a backup a game for for a fraction of that? Yeah. So now now it's a math problem. The other side. Yeah. I don't want to play because I'd have to give up too damn much. Now you're uh, you're dead. And how on. many eyeballs are going to see him when he plays in the NFL, as opposed to how many eyeballs will see him on Netflix? Netflix goes worldwide. I mean, it does go worldwide, but I don't know, man. NFL is pretty big, so the NFL is big, but they but there's I, sixteen there's sixteen games at once. Yeah, You're not no, watching you, all of them. That's a that's a very good point. That's a very good point. Let's uh, let's move off of that. 